for here, you little stinkers. Hi. Good morning. So a little change of pace. The last minute we made some executive last minute decisions. Am I going to use that right? Yes, you did. Um, and we we made a video that I'm working on editing wow. right now of the puppies, and it was it ended with the puppy. Wow, Maisie, Maisie, Maisie! <laughs> I potted all of them before I, bringing I, them in here. I know you did, and they are all like, yeah, <laughs> screw that. <laughs> we got more pee. Come here, you um, guys. Come here. Come on, let's go potty. And I was like turning around to turn on the kitchen cam, but okay. Drew hadn't taken the, they hadn't brought the puppies out yet. And I was like, I have to see if the camera will reach. Go potty. And then I remembered Drew is a genius and put the cam put the computer on an extension cord so he can take the camera anywhere we go. Yeah, we can take the computer anywhere we need to. Go potty, you guys. Go potty. So good morning, Lisa. And good morning to anybody else who has since joined us. Hi, Charlie. I can even go up close to the puppies. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Whoa, no, no, no. Look at that there, Mr. Bobby. Hi, Hi. sweet things. Oh, that's not Bobby, that was Bo. Yeah, yeah, three of them were so tuckered out from the... <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them yeah. are going crazy. Ah! They're being so much fun. Again, again. They've had a few accidents yeah, and we were few. like, oh, maybe we should put them back. And then we're like, no, this is fun. This is too much fun. So they're, they're having a blast. We'll let them play a little bit. Hey. Like this. Probably the ones piddling are the ones, they're, it's probably like an excitement piddle. Yeah, it is. I think it's like, it's a, I can't hold it in. This is too much fun. Hi, you guys. Come here. Let's get us. Come on. Come on, sorry, folks. Come here. But Come here. when we do stuff like this with the puppies and Alfie, 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 come here. They're being sweet. We want to share it with you guys. In fact, I can bring the camera over closer. The puppies are not gonna. Over. Take up over. You guys are toasty warm. Clover. Okay. Oh, good puppy. Who is that? This one. That's a uh, body. Good girl, body. Oh, Rocky. Rocky. Come on, sweet thing. Thanks for doing morning thing a little bit. Hi, Clover. It's okay. I was going to shower, but that's all right. We can do it filthy. What are you doing, Rocky? We can be filthy together. Rocky. Rocky. Come here, Rocky. We haven't had coffee yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> any coffee, though. No coffee yet. Oh, no, it's sunshine. Sunshine. Come here, sunshine. Oh, good girl, sunshine. That's such a good boy. Oh, and it's Bradley's birthday today. It he's is. so He's so excited. It's so cute because he's turning 10. And so, you know, the big thing. The Turning double digits. Go potty. Um, and he's he's had a little countdown using our. We have one of those little calendars that have the blocks with the numbers. He's been using um to count the months, and has been using the numbers to count down his birthday. Yeah, the days. So he's very excited. Um, so we're if we're like busy today, that's kind of why we've got um we gotta pick up his cake too. Oh, we do. Yes, we do. He wants um an ice cream cake that I should have really caught looking. That's what I was thinking. It's like I always think I'll do it tomorrow, and then before I know it, his birthday's here. His birthday is here. That's okay. I do want to. I need to get him a card too. You're very busy. You're very busy. No, we still I, need to make time for our children's birthday. I know. I know. We do. We uh -huh. do. And we will. Hey. But um. Oh, and I wanted to FaceTime with oh my goodness. Ah. Hi. Kiwi. And the kiwi. Hi, Bobby. Oh. You guys, when I think about mm, Mr. Bobby. him going to another family, it, oh, it, okay, not about him going to another family, it doesn't break my heart, it's the thought of him leaving our house, hey, like him easy. going somewhere else. Easy. Um, busy. Because on the other hand, he is such a good ESA dog that I feel like if I were going to get an ESA dog, he's like a beginner's ESA. Like if um, the family is completely unfamiliar 
um, with ESA dogs or therapy dogs, or like they're new to, you know, the mental health um, scene. Um, he is such a, he's just so like chilled and relaxed. He was a very good beginner puppy, wouldn't you think? Yeah, like he's, yeah, he is. He learns very fast, like even just walking up to the pen, I say, Bobby, he just looks up at me and comes right over. It, it Howdy, awesome. melts my heart every time. Howdy, awesome. But I mean, he would be doing it to anybody. So, I mean, let's be yeah. real. He's, yeah. He just he uh, loves, he... Um, don't ruin my rationalization. Okay. Okay. For... Right. No, <laughs> You're just... going to make it harder to <laughs> <laughs> right. I know that logically, if we get another puppy, it needs to be a puppy that's outside of our gene pool. We we've kept like the last three or the last three puppies we have kept, and um, um, any females we get, you know, we have to plan because they need they need to grow for a couple of years first, and um, Missy will be retiring in a couple of years, and so we've got to plan for her her retirement. Um, and keeping a boy of the same, you know, mixing our two of our existing bloodlines, I think, is kind of probably not the best best move if we want to build our our Red Barn Cavaliers crew. Um, and so, like, that's the logic side of me. The logic side of me says it's just not a good time for a little boy. Hey, Charlie. Which Charlie. is unfortunate, but. Um, they, they've had, like, mm -hmm. they are all such good puppies that I think we're going to have plenty of good ones <laughs> to come. And so I kind of, I find comfort in that. And then also knowing that he is going to be, because this is the other thing is when I don't need an ESA dog, when he is already, when he is going to be such, he's like a puppy. If you are looking, come to us and say, we don't know much about dogs or cavaliers, but we really are interested in this ESA thing for our daughter, our son, my wife, my husband. Um, Bobby is like the perfect puppy for somebody who is, he's just, he's, he's smart. He learns fast. He's, this is turning into an advertisement for yeah, Bobby. Yeah, for Bobby. It, so, uh, he's if, such a if you're about. doing research on Cavaliers, probably one of the things that you will see again and again is that they make great first-time dogs, like oh, if yeah. you're a new family, because they um, they are so like they're they're turnkey ready, basically. They are. Like, they they listen very well. They learn quickly. The puppies um, have puppy energy, but their puppy antics aren't nearly as destructive yeah. as other a lot of other breeds. Yeah. <laughs> Are, you know, they'll have accidents, um, they'll chew a little bit, they get the puppy zoomies, um, they'll wake up at night, they'll want to be with you, like, they'll, they'll have some of Bo Bo Bo! Bo Bo Bo! Oh, 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 no, 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 Bo Bo, no, no, Bo Bo, Finnegan, Finnegan, ah, Alfie! But they just, they, I, partly, I think it's part because Finnegan. of their, Good um, boy. Good boy, Finnegan. What? people dogs they are at their heart that they really just want to please you so badly that you know they say all dogs really want to please their people and they do but cavaliers you know you know in spite of that dogs still do a lot of things that drive us crazy um cavaliers it's like they um they can't reach a limit i feel like there's other dog like other dog breeds where um it's like they max out at what they're willing to do to make you happy for the day, and then they're they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Cavaliers, that that is what makes them happy is making you happy, and so they just keep striving for that throughout the day. They just don't stop, and so I think that that is kind of what gives credit to. Um, that's the consequence of that sort of <laughs> that desire, that strong desire to please and make you happy. Alfie, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> He gave a little arc and everything. The Alfie, he is, oh, he's such a character. Oh, Clover, hey. what's up, baby? Clover. You want to come play? Clover. Hey. Clover. But Bobby is a really good okay. puppy. And oh, Clover. Um, I feel like it's kind of selfish of me to keep him when I should probably pick a more challenging ESA pup when I when it's the time. But 
I also don't want to uh, jinx Daisy in any way because she she reminds me of my Springer star who we had to like protect from herself. And so I feel like Daisy's the same way we had to protect her from herself. Mm -hmm. Where are you going, Finn again? Um, I made a video too of um, of. Oh, what the, the puppies this morning? That's why we have this whole setup here. Or I guess we made a video. I filmed. He's no. Right now. <laughs> this is not where we go potty. We made a video together, and that's why we have all this <laughs> like this. <laughs> um, and so I was going to use it as the trailer for the other stream, but I guess I'll just pop the other stream on. Okay. But um, so I do have a short video coming for you guys. Just a lot of cuteness like this. <laughs> This was how it ended. <laughs> this is how it ended. Yeah. Well, I guess they weren't as spread out. Yeah. yeah. Puppies, sunshine. Wait, you're sunshine. You're Rocky. That's right. Yep. That's see, if I'm looking at Rocky's, I have to double check. If I'm looking at her and I see the collar, it's all right. That's, that's Finnegan, who you're petting right now. No, I know. I was yeah. Hey, I know you're not sunshine. Wait a minute. No, this is Piper. This is Piper. Um, and I told oh. Bradley. Um, so I love Christmas. I'm one of those people that likes to decorate early. And Bradley was all upset. He was like, you better not start decorating. And I was like, all right, after Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, you you love Christmas. You are you well, are the so Christmas got spirit. The blanket out already. Yeah, we got that. Uh... Hi. Hey. What's up? Wanna come hang out? I think some are not feeling well. <laughs> Over. Oh, and we, um, we didn't, oops, we didn't get Myra's puppies weights yesterday, so let's look at it. Is that Bobby or is that Bo? This is Bob, wait, this is Bo. That's Bo. Bobby. Yeah. Bo? Because that's Charlotte. Charlotte. Good girl. Wait, wait, nah, you look like you're Who's fussing? Bobby. Bobby, you're Bye, such Charlotte. a good boy. You are such a good boy. Isn't he such a good boy? Rocky, why like is you your just say his name and he just spins right around. Yeah. He's like, what? What's up? What's up? Oh, me? I'm oh. here. You're talking to me? He's, oh. oh, he's such a good boy. You little stinker. Rocky. Go and there, Rocky. the other thing about Bobby, too, oh, oh, is oh, 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 um, I am not really a boy dog person. I grew up with girl dogs, and so I've always preferred girls. Okay, um, it's partly how I am. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I understand um families and their their gender preference and why we don't like to charge a premium a lot of most breeders charge 500 bucks to um like on top of their base price for a female and um but so i grew up with females and it's just really hard to connect with males for some reason i've never understood why it's just the way it is and i i wish it wasn't that way i wish that i could connect better with boys um and and dogs but um, I've just always, I've always really preferred girl dogs. It's just what I grew up with. And so now I'm wired that way, I guess. And so Bobby is, that's part, what's one thing that like is really amazes me about him is that he captured my heart as much as he did. And I never, I don't connect with boy dogs. And so that was another thing that I just loved about him was um, how He's just, he, uh, he connects with everything. He connects with Bradley. Bradley is holding him all the time now. Um, so he's, I think he's going to do really, he's going to make a really good ESA puppy for a family or not um, necessarily family, but for a person in like any role in the family, mom, dad, child, brother, sister. Um, but he would also make a really good just family dog for kids of all ages. Um, he does. He doesn't have to be an ESA. He would be very happy just living with his family. And being a family dog, he's gonna like a very well-rounded family dog. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, me and Bo. Oh. Oh. 
Hi, Maisie. Oh, well, hello. Always like, I want to play. Hi, Hi Charlotte. Oh, goodness. Oh, no, I'm getting... Hold on, puppies. Before you guys all get in my lap. Hi, Claire. Yeah. I want to see the... Uh, 14 Cavalier puppies. This is like... I couldn't see Bo wrestling you. Bo. Oh, Bo. Get off of Bobby. Bo. Hi, Amber. How are you? Good morning. Oh, oh Desi, are you still over here, buddy? Oh, are you scared? Oh, he's scared. He was scared to walk across the bed. Oh, and that is the essence of Cavalier. They're so like innocent and pure and sweet. They just they don't want to. They don't want to break any rules. They're afraid the world's gonna hurt them. It's okay, buddy. Nice. But we like to also help teach them confidence. And so how we do that is by, so when things like that happen, um, or if, um, if one of the older dogs is um, giving them some boundaries, setting some limits, um, and like turns around and snaps at them and they get scared and they run away and whimper, um, the best way to start to help like build confidence is the first thing to start with is to not coddle them when they get hurt or when they get scared. You can like, kind of validate it a little bit and just, you know, make sure they're okay, but then you want to help them move on. Um, it's very similar to how you don't with um, toddlers, you want to tell them to, you know, brush off any little falls because they fall, you know, all the time. You want to teach them to just brush it off so that they don't start um, um, making, you know, a, a, everything is a big deal. Um, and so it's kind of, it's a similar sort of concept, I think. Right. Now you guys are all looking for, you guys are all looking for, you know. stay in the tree, Bobby. 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 I see you sniffing. You can sniff in the tray, buddy. Uh, Amber, I would like to hear an update, good or bad. Drew and I, we still have not made it to the post office yet. We've been, man, it just feels like as soon as we get our heads above water, it's like things start piling up again. Takes no time. All you puppies running around. I wish they would run around on the waterproof area. Yeah. Or whoops. Let's stretch it out a little bit. Uh, I just spilled some water, so you know. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oops. He's thirsty. They had breakfast, um, probably about seven o'clock, a couple hours ago now. They're such good puppies. That's what's going on there. She's littler than you, Charlotte. Miss Lottie. Lottie Dottie. She's littler than you. Let's give her a little bit of slack. Let's go puppies. Please. I'm going to put a better picture. 
<laughs> Life's strange. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I mean, we haven't we called any of this since. Yeah. Since Kiwi left. Hey, boys. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh goodness. Hi. Hey. Oh, my. Okay. Sunshine. You are. She's she's little, but she is so full of like. She is spunky. Like, is she standing up there? Because she, she really is. She thinks she's a What's queen. up? What's up, Bo? Bo, what's up? She's so playful. Hi, sunshine. I know your mom is going to be on at some point. <laughs> Hi, Bo. I want to see you. Um, oh, and so for families, I think we're, we're like caught up with FaceTimes. And so um, we can oh. expect a more regular schedule no, now. Don't, don't, um, no, no. So we're going to pick up with... Um, Remy's families, and we're going to basically work our way down from, um, oh, you know, before we started second FaceTime calls, before we start, started second calls, we wanted to make sure we got to, like, all of Robin's families before we started doing um, Remy's second calls. Um, and so we've we've gotten to everybody. Um, and if, if you haven't been, if you haven't FaceTimed your puppy and you hear me saying this right now, please text us because please, yes, please we made them. an error. Yeah. Then we, um, we, so we want to make sure that we reach you. Um, so, but um, that means that we are going to be um, starting round two this week and we will, um, you will get, you'll hear from us. So like tomorrow morning, um, I'm going to reach out to a few families and get FaceTime scheduled for between Thursday and Friday. And then Friday morning, um, probably Saturday morning. Oops, oh, sweetie. Let me do my ring. Um, it'll be either Friday or Saturday morning. I'll schedule the, um, those like over the weekend calls. Um, I don't know how Drew is doing his, but, um, I'm trying to keep like my Sundays a little light so that, if anybody needs to reschedule, we can try to avoid going into the next week so that we don't get behind. Um, and then also, if we do need to reschedule, um, unfortunately, if I'm your contact person, I get migraines all the time. So um, in the past, it doesn't happen all the time, but it has happened in the past where I've gotten a migraine like two hours before FaceTime was supposed to happen and had to reschedule. Um, and so we have like a couple of built-in makeup days so that, um, 
you know, if we if the whole day has to get called off, if we can't reschedule during that day, um, Monday and Tuesday, the Sunday that open Sunday that I want to keep light, um, and Monday if it has to go into Tuesday, then Tuesday that's kind of no, what sure that. um, no, sure that. that's when we will do that call. So you won't miss out on your call. We'll just have it a day or two later, and then you'll still have your call that next weekend coming around. So. Um, Sorry, it took us some time to get into this, like, sketch. It's It's been rough to get finding a... Oh. It's been really hard to find something that works because Drew and I, we tried to just, like, go at it head first, and it was just way too much. And so then we started just kind of whittling away at it, and now we have a more organized idea of how to go forward. So we wanted to at least get everybody's first FaceTimes um, introductions done. Um, and then, um, but, uh, um, um, hi, hello, hello, oh, hello, hello. Yeah. So, uh, but we won't be doing FaceTimes Damn. today because today is Bradley's birthday. Um, I mentioned that a minute ago, but, um, so if we don't, if we're, um, busy or, um, if you don't hear from us, Bradley's birthday is kind of going on yeah. in the background. Yep. Uh, oh, and he's also got a done <laughs> early sneak as a mom. <laughs> I couldn't remember if his birthday was the 8th or the 9th. <laughs> and I was on the phone in the dentist's office. And so when they were like, is the 8th okay? I was like, oh, that's the day before his birthday. <laughs> and so I scheduled a dentist appointment on his birthday. And now he's missing the, being having happy birthday sung to him on the bus ride home. How much do I suck? <laughs> I'm so disappointed. You know no, I'm so I, excited to have the bus sing happy birthday to him. Well, we can just, we can, what if we just, uh, we'll sing to him. I was to say, do you want to move his, his appointment? Um, well, I think he wants to be picked up early at the same time. Oh, uh -oh. he's excited to be picked up early. Right. Um, yeah, so, but today's Bradley's birthday, and so we got the dentist appointments too. So, we're gonna be running into town doing that. We gotta go get his cake and go get his birthday dinner that he chooses. We let the kids pick out what they want for dinner that night. Yesterday was Panda, but he said he was going to change his mind. He he, yeah, he was saying, oh, I don't know. What oh, I'm but doing. that was, he was saying he wanted to get expensive or something. Yeah, stuff, he, so was, he was trying to be. Panda. Yeah, we'll give it Panda. Hey, Finnegan. I really hate when they, I feel so bad for them. Oh, good girl, Charlotte. Um, good girl. Yeah, so. Um, and then we'll bring this camera back to the kitchen when these guys are sleeping so that you guys can see the, like the grown-ups. Well, I mean, like, like when we put the, them back in their pen. Desi. Finnegan. Finnegan. I Come on. We could just, uh... What are you doing, Finnegan? We'll put this one um, in the kitchen and I'll set up the, mm. we'll put this one in the kitchen, I'll finish working on my video and I'll set up the other, the Robin live stream and do the whole trailer thing I was going to do. I made a really cute trailer that I want to finish <laughs> and put it together. That's kind of what I'm trying to think about how I, how you want to do it. I made a, um, or we, we filmed a trailer that I'm, I'm working on editing and. It's an alternate universe trailer. <laughs> Oh. It's not really alternate universe. Yeah, no, it's it not. Was, yeah, we still call them a. Yeah. It was pretty. It was pretty realistic. Yeah. yeah. It was just snuggling puppies. It was snuggling puppy time. You gotta clip your nails, my goodness. Er, yours too, Maisie dog. You're so funny, Maisie. You are so silly. But we just we have um oh Amber we used the box that you sent us. Um, we used that box and oh my gosh, that hurt. <laughs> She just chomped on my thigh fat. Oh, <laughs> so. um, but we so we lined the box with this blanket, and we put all fourteen puppies in there, and they fit so perfectly. It's so really, really cute. They were really snug in there. Yeah, it was really sweet. And then, um, and so then we pulled them out and brought them onto the bed, and and played with them a bit. So nothing crazy, just just cute puppiness. This is some puppy cuteness. I know. 
endless puppy here. Now. Look at Elfie. Can you guys see Elfie? <laughs> is splooted out. Whenever they uh, their legs popped out to the back, they're splooting. Button is like, what did she get into? No, this is this is Piper. Oh, that was Button. No, Piper's right. got an orange color. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I thought that was orange. Button. Because Piper, yes, yeah, Piper's got this white. Oh, she's gonna be so pretty. I love when they have this white. Yeah. Up here, because it makes their it makes their feathering so pretty when they, it's all all the way right there. Oh, it's so funny. Button, 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 button. Oh, oh man. Those good puppies. I need to work on coffee. Yeah, I'll get coffee going. I'm sorry. Do you want to start moving them back into? Yeah, the... I was gonna start moving them back. Or do you want them to just? Sit I got us. Right I wanted to need to start working on my video and um setting up the other live yeah. stream and oh and i've got to set aside time to work on the website lay down guys lay down pups lay down Maisie. Oh, you're so tired you're about to roll over man every one of remy's puppies has been so easy Maisie. to keep no, oh, Remy's? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, if um, Bo or Charlotte hadn't been kept, we probably would have seriously been thinking about keeping them. Because, man, they're such good puppies. But like I said, <laughs> see, they would have been girls. That's why I mentioned the girls. Because <laughs> if they were girls, it would have been easier. It's just hard to justify more than one boy. Um, of a coat color. Yeah. Like, wait, who peed all right there? Uh, it's probably water. Oh, wait, no, it's water. Yeah, it's water, because someone, someone, or it was Maisie accidentally just went trotting through the... Uh, oh, hey there, Anu. Anu. Oh, I hope I didn't miss you. Oh, yeah, Anu. It's nice to see you. Hey there, Nisho. I haven't seen you either in a, in a minute. It's nice to see you. I will tell Bradley you said happy birthday. In fact, I'll make a note of it. I'm gonna let him know you said happy birthday. That will make him smile so big. He's he's so he's so sweet. He's so stinking excited for his birthday. And like historically, um, do you remember when that one birthday of his, Matthew had to go to the ER? And so I was at the ER with Matthew yeah. and you tried to bring like your pieces of cake yeah. from home to celebrate in the ER. Yeah. And so we Drew brought Bradley. It was her birthday. It was a. Uh, was Bradley or Matthew was. No, it was his fourth birthday. Um, was Matthew that old? He was two. Yeah, Matthew was two. Okay, so it was Bradley's fourth birthday, and oh man, bless Drew. I don't know how you did that, um, but he <laughs> had May and Bradley, and Bradley was turning four, and they met me in the ER with Matthew. Matthew had what did Matthew do? I want to say he pulled out his his tube. I was getting real angry because they were taking forever. And I was like, this is an emergency. It's not like we can just feed him by mouth. I right. Think that was what yeah. was. They pulled his tube and we couldn't get back in. Yeah. Because when you have a tube fed baby, there's a lot of ignorant people that are like, why? Well, why can't you just give him a bite of food? And we're <laughs> like, um, because we can't. We never have. <laughs> That's why we do the tube. <laughs> we don't do the tube by choice. Oh, I'm so glad that that's not well, something we deal with. Yeah, more arguing yeah. with people about why we can't feed him a mouth, but um, Bradley was so stinking excited for his birthday that um, I ended up I told Drew to just take him. So the kids were getting like loud, and the staff was seemed to be getting. I felt it was felt bad having the kids there in the hospital, so we sent them home. And Drew sent me the most precious video of Bradley getting his birthday cake. I couldn't be there. Yeah, it was very, very late. Because uh, it was like, I want to say it was like, you know, 10, 11 o'clock. He was completely delirious. Yeah, Bradley was, was yeah, Bradley was delirious because he just wanted to have his birthday cake and stuff like that. He was so happy. He was so happy. And yeah. he was like, how do you describe his reaction as he brought the cake to him? 
he was so giddy that he was like shaking. Yeah, yeah. And he was like laughing, was like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that I felt bad because he was he like he just wanted his birthday cake and he was getting real upset in the, in the emergency room. But he he wasn't even getting upset. He was so patient. That was what got me. Yeah. Was that he was he was um he was not like um he was just eager. Yeah. is all and. And I felt bad that he was spending his birthday in the emergency room because how many four year olds are spending birthday in the emergency room? Yeah. And that's like, yeah, that was like part of the course too. It's not like, like visiting the emergency room was not um, a new thing. So, yeah. That was the other thing was like, it makes you think about that reality yeah. about how yeah. it pulls from the other kids. Oh, let's see here. So we need Easy Maisy. Easy Maisy Piper. Musical Piper. Where are you and is Charlotte? Yeah, why does Oh, because he wanted to be with, with you. Think much he might have been. Out. You think he's five? No, no, because um, I don't think he was. No, five. he wasn't five because he Matthew passed away when he was five. Yeah, I was just. I'm still I mean, looking back at that. I'm just still amazed at how mature Riley was handling the thing. Um, how do we want to? If we're getting his cake, do you want to just do that with him? Because in that way, if they don't have it, he can just take it out. Yeah, that's good. He wants a very specific. Oh, uh, well, did you get that from DQ last time? I might have to do a little bit of research that we don't have a lot of money to. For it, well, if you're going to be in Bloomington anyway, so we could do some research right. here where it's at. Well, we all are. We all are. Aren't you coming with for the best plan? Do you want me to? I thought that was the plan. Oh, I, I thought that you were just going to take them like you did with me. Well, this is too, it's not like they have side by side appointments. Oh, yeah, but I thought like two days ago or a few days ago, we talked about coming back here with them. And then we would all leave. Yeah, that's fine. We can, we can do that. Kind of, yeah. I thought that you were just doing the same thing you did with Megan. Please. <laughs> So we'll do the kitchen cam in reverse.